Well, what's going on there, folks? Early Friday morning, uh, November 8, 2019, 5.42 a.m. West Coast time. And the West Coast is pretty active this morning, right around the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Ventura, Ventura region uh, along the uh, Southern California coastline there. This is north of L.A. region, uh, kind of having a cluster of quakes there. And the most recent one, a 3.6 here, striking uh, a short time ago. Uh, as far as like the largest one in this cluster goes, uh, most recent was a 3.2, I should say. That just happened here a minute or so ago. Um, this is just kind of like a uh, interesting area to watch here as there's Los Angeles right there on the map. You can see where that's at. Uh, just to travel up here to the northwest to get the activity right uh, north of Oxnard. <clears throat> and then you run into... Uh, the uh, Ventura area. Also a little earthquake over here uh, near Fillmore, uh, kind of inland, but uh, I think most of the activity we're kind of worried about is right here uh, within this region here, as we could possibly see a, uh, a much larger quake taking place here with this activity that we're seeing. Um, not 100% guaranteed, but it's definitely something to watch um, well, moving forward uh, today and, and pro you know, possibly over the next 24 to 48 hours as, uh, you know, looks like magnitude uh, and the multitudes of these earthquakes are starting to ramp up a little bit. The depth of these earthquakes are also a little bit on the troubling side as they vary um, anywhere from 15.9 kilometers. Um, let's see what the most shallow one is here. I've seen a four, this is a three. So it's just varying depths right here of, uh, of quakes. And um, that's worrisome. We will have to keep an eye on it. Taking a look at the exact fault systems that are out here. Um, let's see if I can get one of these to pop up here. Uh, what do we got, the uh, P-Test Point Fault? Yeah, let's see here. Ventura Fault. I guess that's possibly where this has taken place or possibly within within the area, very close within the region. I'm uh, just going to do a little look over here on my side. Let's see exactly... Uh, So this is something to watch here. This is what I'm going to read here. California Geological Survey researchers have reported that the fault, which is this fault right here, the Ventura Fault, uh, is capable of an 8.0 earthquake along with a tsunami affecting Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara, Ventura, and Santa Monica, California. A big earthquake on the fault estimated to occur every 400 to uh, 2400 years the last earthquake being about 800 years ago on this specific fault Pitas Point and Punta Gorda areas were yanked out of the surf zone by large uplift events growing between 16 feet to 26 feet suddenly so with this increase and this quake cluster that we are seeing I would definitely be on high guard out here around this region as it uh, looks like this fault system here within the area is capable of producing an 8.0 earthquake with a subsequent tsunami affecting a large population of folks down there um, not gonna you know i'm not saying this is definitely gonna happen but uh, whenever we see these quakes in clusters like this uh, it's good to pay very close attention very close attention um, I do have a couple stations in Southern California that are close to the region there. I'll probably have to pull up a specific one uh, closer to that area. Uh, stations like uh, this Barrett, California station, that's in Southern California, south of the Ventura region. Also Mammoth Lakes there within the vicinity, but more eastward towards the uh, desert area. Um, but yeah. 
definitely be on guard folks if you're out there in the Ventura Southern California region as we're seeing a cluster of quakes um, and like I said that map that I just showed you let me bring that back up once again is just one day magnitudes here so most of this activity is fairly fresh uh, as it's occurred uh, let's see what the oldest one at least on here was um, yeah, I think today, yesterday and today is when we started to see this quake activity. And, um, let me bring this up here. Let's go seven days, all magnitudes here real quick. And take a look and see. Hold on a second here. Okay, so not a lot. Some of those quakes up there in the orange and the yellow are over over the last couple days i guess let's see here 11 8 7 not much though not much at all most of the activity occurring yesterday and today with today being a ramp up as we're starting to see uh, some higher magnitudes there 3.6 being the higher one just occurred a short time ago followed up by 1.4 and also a 3.2 be on guard, folks, if you're out here in this region, Southern California, Ventura, California area. This fault system out here, very capable of producing an 8.0 earthquake with a subsequent tsunami affecting the Ventura region and uh, areas as well. So just, man, pretty scary out there, folks. Be on guard. Um, I will be monitoring this situation throughout the day and will be... Uh, right after right after this update video I'll, I'll get on it and put a local seismograph station that's uh, in that area up on the live stream so we can get a little bit more detail on if this area is starting to see uh, some you know a multitude of microquakes as well which would show a further increase in the region beyond guard Southern California looks like uh, looks like some activity building up out there stay safe uh, yeah watch out out there be, be very careful make sure you got an earthquake plan in place as uh i definitely be on guard over the next couple days